Today, we're doing a flat repair, Toyota RAV4. Tire light keep coming on. So we're gonna check the tires, see what's the problem, and if anything, possibly, we're gonna be doing a flat repair. So here we go. Toyota RAV4. XLE version. We're gonna be checking the left rear tire. Nails, the nails, inside of it, the tire light keep coming on, and the air pressure is keep being low. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna jack up the vehicle and secure it. We got the vehicle up in the air, the rear tire is up in the air. So I got some tire chalk. I'm gonna mark the tire where I'm gonna start from. I'm gonna take the tire while checking for a nail in the tire. See how I marked it? So now we're gonna take the tire. I'm looking for a nail. This tire here has been going down for the past few days. I air it up, it goes down set the tire light off when you have a difference in the tire pressures. There we go. Here's the nail right here. That's the culprit. Why the tire light keep coming on. So we just box it out so we know where it's at. And that's the nail right here. So what we're going to do, we'll get our tire repair kit, fix that, pull that nail out, and repair it. Tire repair kit. What you're gonna need is an inserter, tire reamer, second tire, or a reamer, and tire plug. Those are what you'll need if you're on the road. What you need as well if you're, if you're stuck in the road. Razor instead and not pliers. Razor makes it quicker and easier to get these cut. So, what I'm gonna do is cut one of these out. That's all you need is one. The rest goes back into the pile. Take the paper off of it from the inserter. We're gonna tread this in here. We're gonna put it, put it in and get it all the way down to halfway. So we got the plug in. It's halfway to the halfway. So once you get that, you put it to side. The next thing is to do, now we're gonna use the pliers and pull that nail out. Once you pull the nail, you push the reamer in, but you gotta try to find the hole. And what you do is you push it in and you open up the hole a little bit so you can get the plug up in there. So what you do, you twist it. You pull it in and out to open up the hole. And once you get the hole done, then you get this ready. Push it in all the way, almost all the way, and then you can twist it and pull it back out. So I already reamed the hole out. I'm going to pull it and I'm going to stab it with this right away before I lose all the air pressure. It's harder to put it in when you lose air pressure. Once you have the air pressure, it's easier to put it in. You put it in and you pull it. This is excess. You don't want to leave all of this hanging off. So you take the razor and you cut it off.
once you cut the excess off you cut it as low as possible and then you get some soap water you air the tire back up you get some soap water and you're going to check it we're going to check the tire pressure right now we're going to inflate it we get 21 psi right now and we are about to put 40 psi inside these tires just because it's cold and the temperature keeps changing from hot to cold to warm so we're going to over inflate the tires so every day is going to lose air pressure so we won't have to be checking air pressure every other day so we're going to put 40 psi on the factory specs is 35 so we're going five pounds over We inflate it to 40 psi. Now we're gonna check back here with some soap and water. And make sure it don't leaks. So you get a spray bottle with soap and water and you spray. If you see no bubbles, that means it's sealed away and it's patched. So no, there's no bubbles coming out. So the flat repair is done. All that's left to do, just lower the vehicle. And that's it. Flat repair is done manually. If you gotta do it on the street, at your home or anywhere, quick, simple, and easy. Like and subscribe. Peace. Once everything is patched down and ready, you come back inside, turn the keys on. See the light there? Go. Start it up. The light goes away. So the nail in the back fixes the tire light. And now it's air back up to the tire pressure. Everything is off and ready to go.